Hey, this is Brandon with Seattle Coffee Gear. I am here today with the uh, Ranchilio Cryo OD Grinder, and the OD stands for On Demand. There are actually two grinders in this line. There's the Cryo 65, which is the ST uh, version, which just has a doser on the front of it. This is the OD version, where we can actually now just have us dose out exactly what we're looking for. It's actually a pretty simple grinder altogether. It's very similar to the other one, so you still have some of the same features on it. You've got this top right here, pops right off. What was unique about this one and the other ones, of course, is it sits flat, which is a really, really nice thing to do. You still got the same adjustment knob on here as well, um, as well as the 64 millimeter burst set grinders. And really what makes this machine unique is actually these little fins, these little aluminum fins that are on the outside of it. The design and idea is this actually surrounds the brew chamber. So these fins, uh, they're aluminum, they wick away a lot of temperature, a lot of heat. They stay just right around that chamber, so right at the burrs and the motor sits directly underneath there as well. So as it's running, as it's heating up and just kind of being used in its daily function, this is really trying to help dissipate that heat out, which is what allows them to have a 64 millimeter set burr grinder, but also get you a little more volume for the day. Uh, once we put this actually back on top here, I'm going to make some nice noise, there we go. The adjustment happens from right here. Uh, the only thing that's a little weird about this machine is you actually have to pop that out to make the adjustment. You can see when I first did that for a second there is locked up. You got to push this lever down if you want to be able to make your adjustments finer or coarser. Once you actually do that, you can make adjustments whatever way you want to go. And then from there, pop back up, pop it into place and it locks into place. The nice part about this, if you have baristas that like tinkering with things and you don't want them actually tinkering with it right now, it's locked up and they have to make a conscious effort if they want to come in and actually make that change. Um, but really inside that grinder, if you watched our other video on the, uh, on the Cryo 65 version of it, it's exactly the same inside. This is the unique feature. This is what makes it more expensive. It also makes it more useful in a lot of high volume cafes. Uh, they actually give you three buttons. Uh, that's kind of unique for a lot of the other manufacturers. A lot of them give you these two and they'll give you like a third mode button, but it's not actually programmable. What's cool about this one is we've got the single, which is right here. If I hit that one, it takes me to double as well. That is going to be what's called a customized button. So I can actually go in there if for whatever reason I'm doing a single double and maybe a triple, I now can actually have that function versus a lot of the competitor ones. You have to actually go in and take it to like a continuous mode to actually do that. So nice little feature adds that third option for you as well. Other than that, this, the user interface is simple. I mean, there, there's just nothing here. You don't get into programming by touching anything that's up here as well. So again, you can't have a breeze to get in there and make a change. Uh, easily. They have to actually do a little bit of work to do that. If you want to get in to make a change, there's a little power button that's over right on this right hand side. Over here, you hit that, you can actually see the whole screen just went dark, so it's off. Turn it on, it goes blue. If you want to get into programming mode, you need to hold down that button right there and then turn it on. Once that happens, you're going to get into that function right there. So now we're in the main technical menu of this thing. And this is where we can actually make changes. Through here, there's a few options. You can see right there, I'm basically that's select, and this is gonna be back, that's gonna be forward. So if I go forward, I'm on dosing right now. If I go forward, it's on mode. If I go into the mode section, basically it gives you an on-demand option or you can utilize it as an automatic. Not much real reason to make a change inside there. So we're just gonna escape out of there. Inside of here, this is actually kind of a cool little feature that again, it's something that I, it's not really prevalent on a lot of other manufacturers. If you hit this, it gives you the choice of starting it by activating it with a porta filter, or I can make a change and I can activate it by keyboard. If I make that change right there, now when I hit the button, it's gonna start dosing it out. Uh, personal preference, how you wanna do it, but if you don't wanna sit there and have to constantly pushing it in to start it, you can just hit the button and make that change. From there, I wanna just escape back out of there. Now I'm gonna go into here, language, English, I'm going to leave it there for now because then I can actually understand it. <laughs> um, inside the counter function as well, and this is a very unique thing for this machine. This, of course, gives you just a total. So it's how many total drinks have been made on this machine. If I go over this way, though, now I can actually have my counter option. And it'll tell me my single or my double, um, the custom button, which is down there. And then, of course, you can reset it. So if, I don't know, once every couple weeks or so you want to try to keep track, make sure you're not running through a bunch of espresso that's not getting charged, you can figure out how many grind, or how many shots they're actually producing with this. I don't want to reset that. I want to do that. This one here, though, now this is actually incredibly unique. 
One of the biggest questions people always ask us is when do I change my burrs? And typically we give you response 900 pounds, 1,000 pounds, something like that. Inevitably, the next question is, how do I know how many pounds I've had? <laughs> um, if you go inside of this burr section, you can go into what's called a calibration. If there was coffee inside here right now, what's gonna happen when I hit this calibration, it's gonna start running. What you wanna do is basically take that coffee and we're gonna weigh it out, measure it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. You can hear the noise getting made. I don't have any coffee inside of there, so nothing's really happening. But when it happens, it's gonna tell me how much weight was that. So after you set your grind, you got your espresso grind where you want it to be, put your coffee in and you calibrate it. And now you can go in there and tell this thing that was seven grams of coffee. If I hit okay on that, this machine now thinks every single time it runs for that long, it's gonna dose seven grams of coffee. Now I can actually get inside of the burr counter and I can actually see how long or how much weight has actually gone through this machine. And let me get out of there. That is huge. That is something that now, it's not perfect, it's not gonna be exact, but at least now you can look at it and say, hey, I ran through a thousand pounds of coffee, I need to get new burrs put inside of this thing. Um, that's really what that whole calibration is. Once again, once you change your burrs out, you reset it, you start on all, all over. So we're gonna escape out of there now. Um, and other than that, this is the other big thing you wanna see inside her, which is the dosing menu. Inside the dosing menu, it's gonna allow me single or double. And in there, I can tell it how long I want it to run for. Keep in mind with all of these, they don't dose out by grams. It's a matter of time. So you're going to sit there when you actually first start with this, figure out how long, how many seconds it needs to run to fill up your porta filter. Once you decide that, you can go in there and actually program this. So I want to get out of there, go to the double. And let's just say for the double, I want to raise it up to about six seconds, which is pretty standard on this machine for actually dosing out roughly 18 to 19 grams of coffee. So we go ahead and hit that right there. Let's get out of there and escape. And that's really all of my features. So now I just go ahead and turn it off, turn it right back on, give it a few seconds to kind of run through to clear this. And once it actually gets through there, now I've got my customized button, which is that down here. My single will run for two seconds and my double is gonna run for six seconds, which I just programmed on there. Very simply, I'm gonna reach back here and just grab a few things, put a little coffee in there this time. Try to do this without spilling it over myself. Basically, porta filter, it sits right inside of there. If I want to dose it out, push it in there like that. You're gonna see a little counter that's happening from this standpoint. Once it gets up, we're there. That was six seconds, I just did that. It's about an 18 to 19 gram basket. That's not bad, it's pretty close. Um, everything changes from inside here. So again, if you make an uh, adjustment to your grinder, the volume that's gonna come out is gonna be more or less, depending if you went coarser or finer, because it's a purely second base thing. But once you're done with that, it's simple. You take it in, you put it in, it stops automatically for you. Doesn't make too much of a mess as well. It's a pretty clean grinder. And other than that, it's, it, it's a great grinder. For the price point that it sits inside with most of the other 64 millimeter burr grinders, it's a really impressive grinder, the features you have. Like I said, the only interesting part is just this adjustment, uh, but that's a kind of a minor annoyance to deal with for a lot of the other pluses this grinder gives you. Uh, if you want to learn anything more about it or see anything else, please go to seattlecoffeegear.com.